Hello, Adam here. Glad you're with me again. And today I've got kind of a neat painting. It's a limited palette painting. As you can see, all I've got is black. That's ivory black, crimson, Prussian blue, and white. I think you're really going to enjoy this painting. And more than that, I really believe that you can do it. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna to start today by just mixing up a sky color. It's gonna be kind of a dark sky. Take a little bit of black, let's put it right here, and about an equal, or just maybe a little bit more blue. It's gonna be a dark sky. Okay, and we'll add to that crimson as well. Right in there. Kind of a dark, cloudy looking sky. Let's just try that and see what it looks like. Take my two inch brush and just tap it. Tap it gently in that mixture of color right there. Tap it a few times, even it out. And let's come up here and start in the corner. So right up here in the corner, we'll just start by tapping it lightly and just using crisscross strokes, crisscross strokes, all the way across. Come over to this corner, get some over here. Now, right over in here is where I'm gonna have a moon. So I'm gonna avoid that spot, mostly. Kinda go around it. And then continue on with my crisscross strokes. All right, I'll come down here on my paper towel that I've always got sitting here. And all I'm going to do is wipe this brush out. I'm not even going to clean it off. Just wipe it out. And I'm going to come back through right around this light area. Get that first so it doesn't darken up too much. Then I'll come back and just quickly blend the rest. And you don't have to be too particular about this blending right here. Just, just go over it again. Same, same strokes, crisscross strokes over the whole thing. Once you about got the, the brush strokes out of it, you just go over it. That's all you got to do. And this is going to be the background portion of the sky, so you don't have to be all that particular about it. Okay? Just when you look at it and think you're ready, go ahead and stop. Now I'm going to go and grab my one-inch landscape brush, come right into some white, just tap it, pure white. And right in here, I'm just going to emphasize this area a little more. All right, just turn in a circle. And this is going to be basically the glow of the moon. The glow of the moon right there. Okay? And then we'll blend it in. Blend it in. And I'll go back to my big brush and just gently go across. All right, now this is the fun part right here. Take your free brush, the one that came with you, the one that God gave you, stick it right in the paint, get a little dab on your finger, right in the middle of this glow. We'll just make a circle with our finger. Okay? Just like that. You can come back and get some more, refill your brush, your finger, and hit it one more time. It'll brighten it up just a little bit more. All right. Good. And that does not have to be perfect. It is a painting. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add to that moon just a little bit. So for that, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to touch just a little bit of this mixture right here and come in the corner. Hope you can see that. And we're just making like a grayed down color right there. And let's come up here to the moon. Look at this. Now the moon, you often see those craters. All you got to do is just kind of touch it. Just touch it. And I'm trying to remember what they look like, but it ain't going to be precise. Just a 
couple good craters and then dab them this way and let it be. Just like that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put some clouds in the sky. I'll grab my larger fan brush. It's a number six fan brush. And I'm just going to come up and go right back into that mixture. That's all I got to do. For clouds, I don't put it on too thick. I just kind of touch it on both sides, make sure it's there, tap it a little bit. Come right back up in here to this corner. Ooh, that's dark. Dark, I like it. Bring it down there. And let's put another one in here. And come real thin towards the end like that. See that? And let's come to the other side and put a good cloud over here as well. It's real simple. All I'm doing is just taking that fan brush and just twirling it in circles. That's all I'm doing. Letting it come down. Try to imagine what the cloud may look like. Come right through there. I'll put a little cloud over here, but that'll probably be mostly covered up. But it's good practice and good fun. All right, let's go back and take our mop brush. I really like these mop brushes. It's a very fine hair brush, okay? Very good for blending. And we'll just come right over here and just take the bottoms of these and just blend it out. Look at that. Looks really good. Blend this one as well. Little careful on that one. It's all right. Okay. And the same over here. Just turn circles on this thing gently. All right, if I have parts of the cloud that I like, I just try to avoid that. Maybe there's some tops of the clouds that are poking out and you like the way it looks. But just don't touch it. All right, but that... Looks pretty good if you ask me. All right, I'll keep going forever and just keep piddling with it. I got to stop. All right, let's stop. Okay, we'll go back to the fan brush, same one we was using. Get some of that same color. Well, it's an easy painting so far, ain't it? Just same color, load it up. Let's come right under here. And we're going to put where these trees are going to be. I'm just going to have some evergreen trees in this painting. Just yeah, some little ones right here. And all I'm doing is tapping. Tapping and pulling off. Straight in. Trying to make sure that they're, the heights on the trees are varied. Not perfectly the same. And once I get beyond here, I'll just put them anywhere. These will be background trees. You probably won't even see any of these, but we'll get them in there just in case just in case a couple poke through. No big deal on those right there. Let's come back and get some more. Starting right here, and the same thing, just work your way across. Some of these would be covered as well, but you want them in there. Just tapping straight, continually tapping straight. Just trying to get some color in here quickly. That's all I'm really trying to do. No big deal. There's going to be some bigger trees over on that side as well. Let's leave it about like that. I'll go back to my large two inch brush. Touch some of the blue. Touch some of the blue, just like that. And then into that color there. And let's put a little water in this painting. going to be some water in this painting right there. Want it to be eh, pretty dark. We'll darken it up just a little bit. Good. Just straight across. Water is generally lays flat unless it's in a moving stream or something like that. So horizontal strokes. All right, if you got a big old bright moon like that, you'll probably have a reflection of some sort. So I'll just grab my one inch landscape brush again and get into a good bit of white. And let's see, let's try to go right under it, starting right here, and just pull down. Pull down. That's all you got to do. Make a good reflection right there. Trying to go straight down with it as much as possible. If you want it to be brighter, you can just hit it again with some more white. Make it as bright as you bright as you want it. I think I'll stop about 
right there. And I'll come back with my large two inch brush, same brush I had before. I'm just wiping it out just a little on a paper towel and I'll lightly go over it, lightly go over it, making reflections in the water. And now comes probably one of the easiest parts in the whole painting and that's laying on this snow. And look at that. We'll go right into the white. Got my two inch landscape brush. Just getting some white on there. Good amount. And I'm going to start right here, way back in here. All right. I'm just going to lay it in. It is absolutely okay. Preferred even. All right. To have various spots that you're touching. It gives it, gives it depth for one. All right. And two, to drag out some of that color. Makes it look really good. Makes it look like shadows. You know, snow is never, you know, unless you're maybe at the North Pole or something, purely white. If it's got, you know, trees around it or something like that, there's shadows and things happening. All right. So it's good. Let it work for you. Let it work for you. The little hair, I'll just flick that guy off and continue on. Continue on. All right. I'm just going to put in some snow banks. Just lay down some snow. Okay. Real simple. Very, very simple. Nothing to it. Don't worry about these edges too much right here. Just let them cover that little pond or creek and, and let it be. I'm going to come back over here and change the direction of this. Let it come down this way. Look at that. Now i got another little plane right there. All these different sections I'm doing are planes, and they bring depth to your painting. So you got this plane back here, and then when you come over here with another hill, you got more depth in your painting. Just like that. Well, that's neat. That is neat. Okay, back to the fan brush for now. And I'm going to reload it. Got some black. Some blue, mix it up right here, and grab a dab of crimson, why not? It's there, I like to use my paint. Just making a dark color for the trees. That's all I'm doing. And we'll take and emphasize a couple of these trees. Let's touch that one right there and just take, take the very tip of your fan brush and just touch lightly, touch lightly. Go back and forth. You know, I just kind of look at the shape of the tree and make very mild adjustments. That's all I do with that. So I like the shape of the tree. We'll put one right here. Just tap it. Same thing. And just bring it all the way down. Working down to the bottom. Yeah, let's put one over here that you can see a little more distinctly. Good. put a bigger tree in here starting way up in here all right hopefully you can see that hopefully I'm not in the way but I think you can get the idea we're just going back and forth back and forth back and forth it'll pick up a little white and that is perfectly fine no big deal you can always come back grab some more and darken it right back up Put another one sticking up right over in here. Bob Ross always said that everything needs a friend, so we'll give him a friend. And let's put a big one sitting on this hill over here. Right here. And again, you just tap it, tap the very corner, all right, lightly. Just kind of go back and forth, letting it fan out as it gets to the bottom. Very simple process. And you will get better with time, I promise you. One of these days, I'm going to show you some of my first paintings. They will make you laugh. But you just stick with it, and you'll 
get to where you can make something that you're very, very proud of. Okay? I'm going to grab our pallet knife, large pallet knife, and just take it and just make these tops a little pointy. And once you got a little paint on it, going to run that a few times. Good. Just put a couple of them in here too. Just faking some trees. That's all we're doing. All right, now with you know all that moonshine, there'd be a little bit of shine on these trees. Maybe there'd even be a little bit of snow on those trees. I mean, it is a winter scene. I'm just going to get some titanium white on my brush. Now I'm going to try it with this. If this is too thick and not sticking like I want it to, then I'll get some um, I'll get some liquid white as well. And I'm just going to start right under the moon, right? And I'm just going to hit those, let those get bright. I'm convinced with a big bright moon like that, you would have some moon reflecting on these trees or shining right on the trees. And maybe even right here in the forest, a little bit like this. Just pull it up and it makes it look like the moon is shining down in through there. You know, and maybe those are some of the trunks of the trees you can see really good, or maybe they're just weeds or what have you, but it just, it looks really good in the painting, all right? Just a little technique. And we'll, we'll hit these trees here. Trying to stay a little bit on the, on the side that's closest to the moon for the most part. Same thing over here. I'm just going back and just kind of sticking to that side that's close to the moon and just, just tapping it. I'll let the bottoms remain a little bit darker. See what the bottom's darker looks more realistic. There'd be shadow there. All right, let's get this tree. Good. This tree's a little closer. You might see a little bit more. Try not to smear it. Get going. If I get going too fast for these videos, I smear it sometimes. Shouldn't be doing that. Probably also help if you put a little bit of liquid white on there. You can just go back and fix the areas you're not thoroughly happy with. Easy enough. All right. And maybe we'll work on that a little bit more later. Let's come over to the other side and get some highlight on these trees as well. I'll start with the back tree. Just tap it. Little highlight, little snow. Little moon reflecting on it. Just get some white on there. Looks really good. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to the big brush for just a moment. Uh, you know what? I will go back to my big fan brush. And let's just pull out some of this right here. And now, those trees are sitting on something. All you got to do is reach up and pull it out. There'd certainly be a shadow from that moon, so dragging some of that color in there is just fine. You can tap like this. All I'm doing is pushing. Then I'll grab some of those and pull them up, make them look like weeds. Grab it again, and maybe there's even a couple like that. And we'll go back and work on those and maybe put a couple sticks in those, but drag the bottoms out. It'll blend it into the painting, make it look like shadows. Looks really good. Let's do the same to this side over here. And again, we're just dragging this down, touching the bottom, dragging it out a little bit. It'll put a little plane in your painting and give that tree something to sit on. Okay? And I just work it in a little bit as a shadow right in there. Good. Same thing here. Just pop it up like this and give it a few little weeds. You can stick them up a little bit and come back and blend them into the painting. Go back to my two inch brush for just a moment and get some a little bit more white. And let's continue to work on this right here. Just right there. Okay, blend all that in just a little. 
love how you can just kind of go over something with a brush and it just kind of seems to fix it. I really like that. Now for this painting, this is a little different than normal water where, for me anyways, you go back and put land underneath it. We're not doing any of that, all right? It kind of just looks like snowbank mixing in with a, a frozen stream or a frozen pond or whatever that is all on its own. But if you want to, you can just kind of come back and rub it a little bit. All right. I should have made sure my knife was clean. You just kind of rub that a little bit. Just kind of define it just a little. Same time, maybe pull some of that white out. And it just looks like it's kind of frozen. Just changing the shape of it just a little. I don't know even how much you can really see that on the video, but I can see it here. It's changing it just a little and pulling some of those lines out and making it look like it's kind of frozen over. And then you can go back with, with a brush. I'll use my small brush and kind of blend that over just a little. Pulling out a little bit of the white. Same here. Putting a little bit of that white over it, a little bit of that haze will kind of make it look frozen all right let's take a oval brush come right up in here we'll just use black and blue real dark blackish bluish color just just for the scene and let's come right here let's make some bushes right in here There we go. Just trying to complete this foreground a little bit. Okay. And maybe there'd be a little bit on this side as well. Go back with another oval brush, one inch oval brush. And I just get that all over it. All right, when I'm using these brushes, I, I'm in a, kind of in experimental mode. You know, I'll try it. See how it's coming off. If I don't like it, I might turn it to a different angle. Turn it to the other side. And this is probably a good example. I can get just a little bit of liquid white, and it should help me out some. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Come to this side over here. And just tap and pull off. Leaving some of the dark. You got to leave the dark when you make your next bush. All right. Let's let that be for now. You can come back through with a a liner brush and just get a little paint on it. You know, maybe there's a stick coming up out of there. Maybe there's another one, a couple of them like this. Maybe it's just old grass from the last season or something that's just kind of frozen, but just little things. All right, I tell you what, I'm going to grab my Filbert brush, okay? That's the same brush I used uh, to put the moon craters on. I think I called it a Filbert then. If I didn't, that's certainly what it is and I'll just come up here and touch a little black be a little white gray it down just a little bit just till I like the color and let's do this let's put a tree let's put a tree going all the way up right there tree right there all right and let's put another tree. Whew, big tree, huge tree. Coming right out of, coming right out of that mess. Just like that. Tree got all funky looking and that's, that's probably good. Trees aren't always, and are mostly, not straight and you're probably thinking that don't look like a very good tree well 
we're not done yet. Let's grab our palette knife, put some highlight on these trees. All right, so got the moon here, so hopefully you can see this. I'm just touching this side and pulling over, trying to make like a little rounding effect when I do this. Kind of difficult trying to stay out of the way of that video there. That's all right. Trees are easy. And we'll put some on this, this little tree over here. Hopefully you can see it, but I'm just touching just the edge of the tree that's nearest the moon. Is all I'm doing there. Let's come back and get a little bit of blue. Just a little bit of blue. Some white in there. Too blue. All right. Gray it down some. Can you see that? Let's let's see what that looks like on the other side of this tree right here. There we go. Nice and dark. All the way up. Nice and dark. Nice and dark. Nice and dark. Now, what I normally do with these trees is I go back and I just try to take where these colors are nearly touching and just kind of make them touch. Bring them in. Trying to scrape it in a almost a rounding motion. And then what you can do is you can just kind of touch it and pull off, touch it and pull off, touch it, pull off. You see that? And to me, that just gives it a bark looking appearance. All kind of ways you can do trees, but that's a way that I, I enjoy and I think it can work for about anybody really. Same thing over here. We'll just touch this and pull off a little bit. Just keep tapping it till we like the look of it. If you got a little spot where you think it ought to have, you know, some more shine on it, well, just do that. Just put a little more shine on it. That's all you got to do. All right, now we'll just go back and clean up the feet a little bit. All you got to do is just, for this tree, I'll just take my fan brush and just give it a little grass. Give it a little grass, hide the bottom, pull that out. Simple. Very simple. For this one over here, I'll just take my brush that I was putting on the snow and just put a couple snow poofs there in front of it. That's it. All I got to do. You know, maybe there's a little offshoot coming up over here. A couple little sticks coming out right here. Liner brush is really cool. You can really make some realistic looking things going on. I almost always like to do that in my paintings. Hopefully you can see that. All right, what else do we need to do? Let's put a couple, I mean, there's a branch coming down like that, old branch. Not too much, but these trees will have little, little branches that come off of it. And let's take our, our large brush. Okay. And I'm just going to go right into that dark, same old brush I've been using, but now this dark is about to take over. And right up here at the top of this tree, I'm just going to put in some indications of a couple branches. That's all. I don't want to cover all my clouds, so just a little bit. Right there. And I don't even need to really put branches in there because really they're implied. They're implied in the painting. Go back to my two inch brush, get a little bit of highlight. Moon shining just a little on these branches, just like that. And maybe there's a little bit over here. Did this one in reverse. 
All right. But just little indications that there might be something going on there. Not much. All right. And you can take your liner brush and just run it through some white. You know, maybe even go back over these just a little. Just a little highlight on them. All kinds of stuff you can sit here and do and just to keep working these these branches and the reflections and the highlight and all that sort of thing. But you know, I think for this painting today, I think we did a pretty good job. I think we'll call this one complete. So thanks for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. If you're enjoying these videos, do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. It would mean an awful lot to me. And remember, until next time, be blessed. If I can paint, you can too. See you next time.